Hey everyone, it's Josh. Welcome back to another episode of Tomb Raider 3. Last time, our exploration through Area 51 continued, and after we reclaimed pretty much all of our weapons, apart from the harpoon gun and the rocket launcher and of course the Uzis, which I don't think we actually had anyway. Um, we, yeah after that we found ourselves swimming with some orcas and making our way to this UFO. Let's have a look in the inside. Not every day you get to look around the inside of an alien spaceship. Well that's ominous. Guess there's no going back. Heck, even if we wanted to. It's a flippin' TARDIS. Bigger on the inside. Probably entirely my fault. Here. I want to save the game, just for now. I want to show you guys something. You want to stay away from this window here, because if you get too close to it, Lara suffers severe radiation damage. And I'm gonna reload it anyway, so. Now, what we want to do. Believe it or not, that is that is the level. Yeah, that's the level done. Is 
this is the element 115 artifact one of the four we need according to interesting fact about element 115 before we you pick it up the element with the atomic number of 115 is is called ununpentium ununpentium I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right according to UFO conspiracies your theories the the element was supposedly used as power source for an alien technology. For more details, you could always just consult the Wikipedia entry for materials and science fiction. But that's interesting stuff, really. Alright, let's grab this, see what happens next. Now, we have two choices. We can either go to London or the South Pacific Islands. I'm in thinking and now plot wise it makes more sense to go to London before the South Pacific Islands, so we're working our way southwards, but because we can get the harpoon gun and the South Pacific Islands, and we're going to need it for London. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, so many pretty fish. This is beautiful. And for once they're not piranha. Good for a swim. Down here, the smuggler's key. Strictly optional, but if you want every secret in this level, we do need the the key because we need to set the route through these smugglers huts. Where are we going? I don't actually know. Uh, this... I guess... Yes, here we are.
A small or medium and a small mid pick. Not a small medium pick. Big Josh, stupid. Okay. Swim to the other end of the, the lagoon. Lagoon. It's a fun word. Lagoon. Nope, can't go that way. It's a very fat palm tree. And yeah, there's another... Another small red pack here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a running jump from here, grab onto that rock, that's not a running jump, <laughs> that's definitely not a running jump. I think I'll save here. Grab on. Traverse and pull up. And then boing. Because that's and that is a secret there. So geez, Lara looks really good but in that tank top and is the word booty shorts? I actually don't know. Yeah, tank top and shorts, I guess. It's a good look. Anyway. Right. So. If you don't mind, if we, if we don't mind skipping a secret, we can take a shortcut here and... We will still be able to get the required three secrets it's out of four but we will miss the extra fourth one like I said I'm, I'm showing everything so this is what you need the, the smugglers key for and by the way This trip to a right here. Actually, I'm curious. Did that? No, that's not. No, that's. Okay, that is a glitch. 
Uh, it mislabels the aura dagger and the element 115. The collectibles was the, uh, the actual name of the item is the element 115. Okay, but. Yeah. But it is mislabeled as the Aura Dagger, which is the artifact we receive at the end of this level. instead. It is still unknown why this actually happens, but it has and it is confirmed in the the Tomb Raider's Traveler's his guide that at the artifact in Nevada is Element one one five. I'm gonna save here. Miss me. Dramatic music. Something's about to happen. Get out the MB5. In the water, there are. Two crocodiles, and then there is one tribesman up there. The tribesman. Can poison Lyra just like the... The cobras. Is from India and the, the rattlesnakes from the Nevada levels.
Boing. I think we got both of them, yeah. Had to tell that murky, this murky sort of dim light. This is what we'd be doing, and that is what we'd be doing if we wanted to move on. But we want collectibles. Those yes, yes. The uh, finally we have found the hub. Burn gun. Jesus. Sequel. Look at all. I thought we'd kill. Oh no. Just makes me wonder about his, his other the other one now. There's another set of harpoons. And there's the third set. Yes, we did kill both. Oh, thank God for that. Anyway, that's the harpoon gun and three sets of harpoons. It's for a collection. Just kind of a collection which is actually looking very impressive by now. And a monkey swing. That one's all down. Ah, oh, that works. Looks too. Anyway, down there is we're just an ah, down there is just where we came in. So we go up here and up onto this one.
Yay, MP5 clips. We des we deserve that. Oh, shit. Well, at least we dealt with the crocodiles. Was already. Uh, I'm gonna keep the MP5 it equipped just for the time being. Because honestly, who knows when we're gonna need, need to use it to snipe another the bad guy. Here. Oh. Okay. Looks like we want to get up here. I mean, of course we do. And then save again so we don't have to make our way be all the way back up here. Standing jump. And then monkey swing once again. And here's the tribesman we, we shot earlier. The safe here. That is progress. Standing jump, and then no, jumped to I jumped too soon. Also, yes. Uh, welcome to the coastal village. I really forgot to mention it, but that's where we are. Okay. I bet you guess what we're going to do. Right? Well, as you probably think you have guessed. Be honest, you probably have, but still. Yes, we're going to jump the spikes completely. And a large mid pack. 
That's a nice surprise. Whoops. Trevor's past here. Pull up. And it's a save slash power up crystal and a small med pack. Okay, now. Yep, pressing in the action button to lower Alara's trajectory in mid-air so that she didn't hit her head on the rocks. Travis to the left again. Then pull up. Standing jump. Grab, pull up, and finally we are out of the stupid cabin. Well, this looks... Um, fragile? There's secrets. This is secret number two. <laughs> that is not secret number two. Believe me. <laughs> and on the next ledge. Grenades! Now again, you can take a shortcut here if you want to. You can climb down into the Ecanium below us. However, you will miss one kill, one med pack, and a safe crystal. Oh, and the med packs are large ones, so you don't want to you don't really want to miss those.
yeah, this is a whirling blade. That's a whirling blade trap. This side is completely safe and also a dead end. Sunlight, otherwise you trigger a, a poison dart trap and release the spikes to me. You trench your head like this. Honestly, kind of pathetic, but to avoid if the trouble all the same, I'm just going to pull this button here. Switch off the lights, apparently. Did they forget to pay their electric bill? Hello, something. I don't want to... Yes, we activated that on purpose. Now what we're going to do... is... We have two choices from here. Either we can and go back up there, drop down the a chute next to the crystal. Leads directly into the village that we're heading for, but we'll miss a secret and several kills and pickups. If we jump back over there and then head back, back to the wooden bridge and climb down the rock into the Misty Canyon,
and that'll get us every, oh, we can still get every item that way. Here we just start the next section in different place. And if we choose this to go down this trench, and we will land on a, and we'll be sweep downstream and land on a ledge outside the temple. It's probably kind of stupid, but I want to do it anyway. It's fun. We're going to get back and drop down the camp. And because I like, you know, exploring villages and this way we get to do that. Quicksand. Huh. Now. Now this cave here Fun fact, if we had it and and gone through the and if we hadn't and taken the shortcut if we had taken the shortcut at the beginning of the level and not gone through the The smuggler's hut, we would have arrived down there. All right. Back to the edge of the pool of quicksand, which is just down here. That's a poison dart trap. Yep, we've just saved those. Sounds bloody ominous, whatever it is.
Wow. Okay, but before we do that, That was the seven. Up. And I'm looking across this gap. God damn it. Does that look like a di does that look like a dinosaur to anyone else? That's in the pause menu. Through there. Shotgun shells. Turn around. Okay, we're going to save here. Down to here. Boing. Boing. Ooh, pretty stone over there. Come through the he beach that cave at the start of the game, or the start of the level, this will be the second secret we found.
going to take a jump down to that flat area down there. And here, we're going to save and end off for today. And then on Wednesday, we'll proceed further. And hopefully find out what's making that noise. So if you've enjoyed the video, a like rating is very much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already subscribed. If you have but you haven't been receiving notifications, click the bell down below. Share the video with your friends, leave a comment. And of course, my social media information is as usual in the description box underneath the video. With that said, I'll see you all on Wednesday. Until then, Josh, out.